Okay, my name is Beth Chance, but when I was in the Peace Corps, I was Beth Perlman. And I was in Mauritania in 1983-84 in the village of Mongel, and I was an um, agricultural volunteer. I, uh, my name is Jeff Byerly. I served in uh, Mauritania and Gabon, 1990-1991. Country. After the Gulf War broke out, we were evacuated from Mauritania, and I was I wished that I could have stayed in Mauritania for the completion of my service because, in, in ways, it was the most inhospitable place I have ever been. So it's a great kid. Whereabouts is Mauritania? And why was your service cut short because of the Gulf War? Gulf War. Why that would be? It was, uh, it was a political. Well, first of all, Mauritania is south of Morocco and north of Senegal, nestled between uh, okay. uh, those two countries, uh, the capital Nouakchott. Um, it was uh, the time of uh, Gulf Gulf War or Desert Storm, and. Uh, there was an affiliation or an alliance in some way between Morocco or uh, Mauritania and uh, Iraq. It ends up the, I think uh, the royal jewels, maybe even part of the royal family, uh, was uh, was uh, sort of sought refuge in Mauritania. And uh, politically, it wasn't. It was. It was decided that we would okay. Okay. be best okay. moved on. Um, I mentioned also the inhospitability, I mean, the inhospitable feeling I got. Not only the climate, hot, dry, uh, desert, or uh, sandstorms, uh, but there was also a challenge of, of working into the culture and uh, assimilating. But I, I found that this family brought me in and, and made me feel welcome. It was, it was astounding. They, they had a child after I left. And uh, they named that child Jeff after me. And I... How did you find that out? Um, I was sent a photo. I was sent a photo by the family. And they couldn't, they, they had lost and I didn't have a way to be contacted necessarily, but they had, they had an, an address of my sister uh, who, they, they sent information to my sister who was in Colorado Springs at the time, and I don't know how they got that information. I can't recall giving it to them, but they sent the information on to my sister, and my sister got back to them about how they could contact me, and it was uh, months. Uh, before I got a picture of uh, Binta with her son, Jeff. Uh, Binta and Fidel, uh, associated with the iron, iron mine. And I just, re it just, I just remember being so touched at that news. And it, it, as, as, as harsh as the climate was, to be able to make that sort of connection with the family was, uh, was, was very, very uh, meaningful. Kevin Baladad, uh, 96 to 98. I was in Mauritania as a small enterprise development volunteer. My name is Margaret Ambrosino. I'm a returned Peace Corps volunteer from the Islamic Republic of Mauritania from 2003 to 2005. Uh, one of the stories I'd like to tell is about my dear friend Biri and Jai, and this was during our uh, pre-service training in June of 2003. We were there for about a month and this was in Kaiti in the south of Mauritania. The air was very stagnant. It was very, very dry. And Beery was kind enough to invite all 45 or so trainees to his wedding. And this was an epic Seninke wedding where we all sat around all day in our finest newly made African clothes and what I remember most about this were the gifts that were being passed around and just kind of 
all the time in between the sitting around and the waiting until things really got going and the dancing and the, the celebration kicked in. Uh, four cows were offered for this wedding. We had a fantastic feast and I will never forget the, the kindness and the caring and the, the attention that was shown to the American friends in being invited into this very special extended family celebration. We were treated like part of their family. I, I got an email this morning that my friend Bidi and Jai had passed away. I just got a, I don't know if I expressed him in the past tense, but um, I just talked to him via Facebook about two months ago and I heard this morning that he had passed and he was a very influential friend of Peace Corps Mauritania. He had stomach cancer and I had no idea. None of us had any idea. This is the um, person, the wedding? Yeah. This is the wedding, the epic Sinike wedding in Kayedi and during our, our training service. Why yeah. Don't you, yeah, we can blend that in with that previous. You told about the wedding. Yeah. And then just go into as if you're going immediately into, and this is the latest on DJ, or however you want to say it by him mm -hmm. passing away. I think that will close mm -hmm. out nicely with that story. So if you want to talk about that. That, how you just got to know, just, just as you were doing this, I'm just trying to... Okay. Yeah, I've maintained some contact for over the years, and... And now it's 2012. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've kept in touch with a lot of my African friends, and Beauty and Jai was one that I have been talking with since we connected via Facebook about two years ago and have been emailing here and there and it's 2012 now I've I've learned of his passing he was a very dear friend of Peace Corps Mauritania and still keeps in touch with or kept in touch with um, several of his American friends and um, thinking back to his wedding in 2003 how that was um, su such a nice welcome to the country that he and his extended family would invite us to partake in his celebration, close to 50 of us, to celebrate his, what I believe was a four-day wedding, and we were there for just one day, but that, that lasted, that lingered with me, and, um, and I hope that his family and his friends are safe and well and I'm confident that they are. Um, I, I really just don't have anything else to say. I didn't really want to talk about his passing but if it helps tie it in a little it's bit. Very honoring, it? Yeah, yeah. It's just it was purely coincidental that I had planned to come here two days ago and just had gotten this email and um, of a really memorable selfless, egoless, generous, giving, um, you know, d rich soul, old soul person. He was six foot five. He had the biggest smile. He had a laugh that you could hear across the room. He was one of, one of the top-notch language trainers and cultural facilitators of of our group in Mauritania. They were all wonderful, but Beery really stood out um, in personality and demeanor and in size. <laughs> and, I, you know, just somebody you will, you will never forget. And I really honor and tribute, uh, pay tribute to him to, to talk about this, to have this opportunity. And I really appreciate that, that, um, that you're able to do this for us and, and to do this Peace Corps project because it's people like this that, that really make us continue the, want to continue the program and share that connection and not just go back and visit our friends but to talk to larger groups to help in the recruitment effort of volunteers because there, there's just these are unforgettable moments that, that we can experience through having the honor and privilege to participate in Peace Corps. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. My name is Becca Lawrenson. I was a volunteer in Mauritania, West Africa from 2007 to 2009. 
and I was trying to think of a good story I came up with. This one day we were eating breakfast with my host family and I got up to move something and I startled our horse and the horse kicked me and it was terrible and the whole family was standing around super like scared and we didn't have any ice and I ended up being fine but ever since that every time they brought the horse back from the fields they'd be like hey look there's your friend your friend the horse and I was like oh really funny really funny <laughs>